One of the most important features of this inverter is that it's very rugged. There's very little uh, printed circuit board and componentry inside it that can, that can fall or break due to vibration. This one has a lot of chokes and, and small components in it which can break due to vibration and, and movement. This is relevant to when you use it in a, in a motor vehicle or an RV vehicle or a four-wheel drive vehicle. This is much more suitable. This is not suitable. We're about to turn on the transformer inverter. Turning on now. LEDs light up. Battery voltage checked. There's 300 watts of power over there. Turn on, and you can see 300 watts of power here on the power meter. Now we'll increase the load. We'll increase the load up to. Uh, Fans come on, we've increased the load up to 1599.90 watts. The fans come on for cooling. It's a big fan to give you a lot of flow through to keep the unit cool. We'll increase the load again now. Loads come up to 1830. Volts, DC voltage down to 1138. Input current. Input current's 190 amps over here, 191 amps. Battery voltage is still holding up. Now, for, even though this is a 2000 watt inverter, we're going to increase the power more. Give us more power. Right, we've increased the power now to 2261 watts. Battery voltage down to 1105. Input current 255.6 amps. The unit's still running perfectly. Input vol out out output voltage. That's the power, 2230 30 watts. No problem. We're now going to demonstrate the charging capabilities of the battery of this battery charger. So this inverter charger is going to charge these batteries, and we're going to turn the power on at the power point. And when we turn the power power on at the power point, the power will go into this circuit. This is the output circuit. This is the input circuit, and then this will then charge these batteries at 12 volts. We turn it on. The switch has to be on here, of course. It takes a little time. There's a little delay. Chargers come on. Here's the charging LEDs lights on. Charging current here is 22.3 and we can increase that charging current by adjusting the charging knob. We've increased that to down, down and by increasing it the other way is 30, 45, 70, up to just over 72 amps we're charging this battery pack now. So you can use this to adjust, to adjust the charging current up and down depending on your type of battery. It's a very good facility. Also over here it's possible that you can as an optional extra have an automatic device which will automatically sense the batteries and turn the charger on if the batteries are flat. On these models however that automatic facility is not available. That's the S4 switch. You can see the charging current here there's the charging current, if the, you get the camera up close, here, here's the charging current. I'm increasing it, increasing it, up to 71 amps, I'm decreasing it, decreasing it, down to 26, 
right down to 17 amps. I can adjust it whatever you like and charge those batteries. Speed, speed on the fan changes as the charging current changes. I'll turn the charger off. So now it's in invert, gone back to inverter mode. No, 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 let's start again. Yeah. No, okay. switch on the... No, no, I'll, yeah. just, I'll just show you. At the moment, the inverter is running off the batteries and supplying power to the lights. Now I'm going to turn the AC power on. The inverter will wait for a little while. It checks what's going on and it will switch over into charger mode. But at the same time that it's able to charge the batteries, and you'll see the charging current has already come up to 27 amps, Changed over, sorry. Now the charging current's there at, at uh, 20 amps, so it's charging the battery, but the AC now is supplying power to the lights. So we're, the AC power to the lights is being maintained and we're charging the battery all at the same time. So it's like a UPS, just like a UPS, uninterruptible power supply. So now I'll turn the, I'll turn the AC off again goes back into inverter mode, battery automatically then supplies power to the lights again. You didn't even see the light switch off, just like a UPS. Eh? 10, milliseconds. 10 millisecond delay time. So now the batteries, now the current, which is 27 amps, which is coming out of the batteries, is now supplying the power to the AC. And you can see the current here, the power here is about 2 295 watts, which is about 650 watt lamps, which is about right. Battery voltage is 12.24. Battery is being charged at 27.2 amps. Uh, sorry, there's 27.2 amps coming out of the battery, which is feeding the inverter, and it's in inverter mode now. This is a unique, a unique product, and that's why it's unique, because of that capability facility of these charger inverters is that you can run them in parallel so that we can have two of these and instead of getting for example if you wanted four kilowatts we could we could use two two kilowatts and connect them in parallel run them off the same battery and that's a unique unique capability of being able to run the two units in parallel but that that's something that's something for the future we haven't uh, I can't demonstrate that here at this point in time